Our next caller is Ken in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I said that appropriately, and I, I'm very Can we proud get a of round of applause? For right? That? that? Oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, live studio fucking audience. Hey, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be part of our live studio it. audience, please um, come to Austin. Yeah. We are at the Atheist Community of Austin, 1507 West Cana Glen, Austin, yeah. Texas, 78756. Mm -hmm. uh, come on Sunday, 1 o'clock Central, and we'd love to see you be part of our audience, have food with us, enjoy each other's company. It's a really good time. Uh, Kevin, you are so kind, just waiting on air. Are you there, buddy? Ken. 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 Yeah, I Ken. said Kevin. And actually, he got you the pronounced town right. Tune perfectly. I did. Perfectly. Excellent job. Yes, perfectly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saskatoon. Did you pronounce Saskatchewan right? I think you even pronounced Saskatchewan right. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. You you mm -hmm. almost speak speak uh, Aboriginal. Oh yeah. So you should put that on your resume. Speaks Aboriginal. <laughs> yeah. See how far that gets you. <laughs> Not very far. What did you want to talk about, Ken? Okay. Um, I've uh, I've noticed several times when you were uh, Eric. Uh, by the way, Jamie, mm -hmm. excellent Sunday best. Ah, right. Yeah, Doesn't thanks. he look good? Is this just a little bit better yeah. than the than the inside out blue T shirt? Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Live oh, studio yeah. audience. Did, what do we think? Yeah. This Whee! is just you're just yeah. trying to you're just okay. trying to even the scales from hashtag right swipe a round of apathy. a little bit. No. Mm -hmm. Oh oh okay. oh. I mean, look at um, that. Look at that. No, I, Go ahead, Eric. Still yes. single. Eric, I've I've noticed several times when you were on uh, both uh, Talk Heathen and over on the Atheist Experience that mm -hmm. occasionally when you're talking to callers, you'll mention that that uh, free will is a illusion. Mm -hmm. And I've done, I've, I've had some discussions in the discussion page and things regarding this because, I mean, if it's an illusion, it's, it's a really convincing illusion. Is it though? So, well, to me, like, I've heard the and read the arguments about the idea that when you're making a decision, the decision has already been made by the subconscious and there is fMRI um, evidence to support that the, decisions are made before you're even aware there's a decision to be made. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I understand all of that. However, if I'm going to get an ice cream cone and the guy says, what flavor do you want? And I go, hmm, let's see, chocolate or vanilla? Well, I usually get chocolate. Maybe I'll get vanilla this time. Okay. And then I think, well, I think I'll flip a coin and let the coin decide it. Now, in all of those cases, I feel like I'm making a decision sure. between two yeah. things. So, so I guess my question is, um, well, I guess I have two questions. One is, um, there seems to be quite a dichotomy between free will, no free will, between people who study this stuff. It's, um, I, I would actually posit that um, the dichotomy perceived is often one of free will or total chaos, and I would push back against that. Um, but just kind of jumping in because that I, it started to feel like you were starting to talk about randomness. But please go on. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can okay. we actually define what kind of free yeah, will we're talking about will. right now? Like, are we talking about? Are we in a deterministic universe and? Or can I just decide that I want to jump out and fly? Yeah. Well, you know? is it that or is it decision making is possible in a deterministic universe as far as we define it? Like, what do we, what do you mean when you say free will? Just Are you asking me? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're asking me. Okay. So, I mean, the idea that, uh, that free will means uh, you are not constrained by anything, including gravity, I think is ridiculous at its, at its face. I agree. We're obviously, I yeah, we're obviously constrained by the laws of, of nature. Um, but then inside, once we've gotten past all of that and we say, okay, so making decisions based on what is offered to you, um, that I would consider free will. Now, certain things I am constrained, like, okay, I guess I have, I can make the choice to murder somebody, but I understand that should I do that, there are laws and there's punishment and there's all of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So then those things have to be factored into my decision. Why? However, well, why? Because I'm a thinking human being. Yeah, I, if you're, okay, so now it sounds like you're, you're getting into like a, 
like a you know don't don't tread on me level of my decisions shouldn't have consequences, which is generally oh of course they should different. That's like political philosophy, as opposed okay. to like metaphysical yeah. philosophy. What do we? Okay, so if we're to, it, when when we're discussing whether or not free will exists, and when Eric you say free will is an illusion, what's the definition of free will that might um, that I might agree that it's an illusion? Sure, that is actually a really really good question. Um, so I guess we need to define uh, a few more things, right? You were talking about how yes, there's no absolute free will, whereas I can just decide I want to fly. Right, or I want right. to travel right. forward or back in time or break those kinds of... We're, re we're restricted within a subset of things in the universe that we're living in right now already, right? Sure, we can agree on that. Okay, yeah. there are some people who would say there's no freedom there, right? But I'm not going to go there. I'm going to say defined within that subset, there are the things that we can do, right? Sure. Now, when I look at people saying that you know there has to be free will, I see two things. I see number one... I'm really uncomfortable with the idea that um, I have a brain and a central nervous system that is a mechanism by which my body takes in information and pops out what I'm going to do, right? Um, You're uncomfortable with it. No, I'm not, but it's, the, it's an uncomfortability that I often bump up against. And so okay. when, I, when I bump up against that, my response is, I'm afraid is not a good response. I'm afraid is not a good reason to think that we have free will. Right, so that's what I generally um, sure. come up against with that. Now, if I were to move further in and talk about free will, um, we are limited. So you're you're talking about the chocolate or vanilla ice cream, right? Sure. Um, now, if you liked chocolate more than vanilla, you're more likely to pick chocolate, right? Sure. Um, but it, I can it, choose vanilla. You can choose vanilla. Now. Because you chose vanilla, there's not a way that we can determine that that wasn't just the outcome of the processes of your brain and central nervous system making a decision. Okay, that, there's there, a lot of brain. misfires. Our brains are really funky. There's a lot of weird stuff. I like to think of one of those Plinko machines where the ball winds up anywhere. You know what I mean? You could drop okay. it from the same spot, and it'll wind up you know, a million different places. Um, it's just this really, really interesting thing where I look in it and people talk about, you know, a ghost within the machine. Is there a soul that is operating, you know, your brain and your body? And, well, no, we haven't been able to determine that there's a soul that can operate your brain and your body. And so the when I think about free will, analogy. I think about that. <laughs> um, when I think about there not being free will, it is that we can completely see the mechanisms by which your brain and central nervous system push you to be making decisions in the way that you are. So I actually want to jump right. in here because it sounds like we're talking about you as a person as if there's a dichotomy between the conscious and subconscious brain. So if you're talking about, oh, is there a way for the conscious part of my brain to do all of the thinking, I mean, the answer is no, whether you want to call that free as well. Also, I, I, I'm not entirely sure where people are insisting there isn't free will because they can't fly came from. I'm sure that someone out there is. Is that an argument that people take seriously? Yes. yes Why? Really? Yeah, my, no, my, I had a philosophy professor who said that. You know, there's, okay. th there's no such thing as free will because I can't jump out this window and fly. Uh, uh, so Yeah, I, and Jordan I, Peterson says that you can't quit smoking without having a mystical experience, but it's bullshit. It is. It and, is bullshit. And, but, Someone just won a bet. But yeah, but we have to um, <laughs> we have to meet people where they're at, and when they come and they bring this claim, mm -hmm. I I'm not going to shut down the conversation because it's ridiculous. I'm going to take this opportunity to show why it's ridiculous, and so um, cool. when I come across that claim, I'm going to say, okay, here's the argument, and here's why it's wrong, right? It's just yeah, you know, mm -hmm. kind of what we're here for. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. So, do you do, is it is it a common contention that if the decision occurs in the subconscious, that it is not part of your will. 
I would say... I've heard that. I've heard that not stated directly, but like, oh, you don't really decide because it happens in your brain before you know it, but that's still... But is it not your brain? brain? Like, no, that's like my point, exactly, is conscious. it's still your brain. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you... Then I guess it's always... Like, this is one thing I've noticed even on the on the, the atheist expression discussion page when we get into these discussions is... is uh, Definition of terms is critical. It is. Like, yep. we start arguing a particular thing, a concept, and then we find out after, like, 275 uh, comments and, and discussions that everybody seems to be talking about a different concept. Th they yep. are. And, and generally the concept that I bump up against is, like, the one that I said, because a lot of arguments against the idea, you know, that say, oh, there is free will, tries to point out the idea that you can make a decision that your brain was not a part of, or that you can choose against the programming that is part of you know, your, your brain and central nervous system. And that is their evidence of free will, but you really can't show that. And because you can't show that, if you're defining free will as being able to act outside of, you know, or make a decision outside of the confines of what makes you up physically, then I, I have to fall on the there is no free will bandwagon. Now, the consequences of that are really, really interesting. I really love, um, I think it was Hitch who had said, um, I have to believe in free will. I have no choice, right? <laughs> that we as a society right. behave and have uh, systems of justice and ways that we uh, treat each other assuming that we have free will. And so it, what, what's interesting to me is the conversation that you have to have where you go, okay, so I don't think we have free will, but I think we have to live in a society where everybody assumes that you yeah. do. And that's, well, you're talking that's crime and punishment. Yeah. 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 I actually of course, take I mean, it. because if you ultimately are not making your own choices, then how can I punish you for right. making a choice? No, I, I disagree. Uh, it, I... If that is the case, and you're not making, and they're not making their own choice, then neither are you, and you're still on an equal position. And they had the <laughs> desire to murder someone, and you had a desire to uh, impart that justice. Lock them up. So exactly. whether or not we are puppets of like a really, really weird god thing, or, just or set of them, or just humans, or we're in a deterministic universe, the fact that at all, unless some humans have free will and others don't, um, oh we shouldn't treat them differently. It's like, uh, you know, children, we don't have the same sort of rights and, and punishments well, for malfeasance that we apply to legal adults. Truth. Th th there was an entire truth. argument about free will that had to do with zombies. Just for that, uh, just just to make that point, <laughs> I um, I oh, you know, will retain my free will reality, to defend myself against zombies. That has so we'll nothing to do with in, that. in reality by appealing to fiction. I'm sorry. We make a point in reality reality by appealing to fiction. Well, we're able to explore a lot of truths about society and culture by exploring them in fiction, as long as we remember that they are fiction. Yeah, um, right. and not try and, and define and so, atheists by Dostoevsky. Finishing up the 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 free will point, okay. um, we need to realize, just like what Jamie said, I think he mm -hmm. said it almost completely the way that I was going to, and that is that we need to hold people accountable. So when you said, if someone is not responsible for their actions, they should not be punished, I agree, and there are people who have in certain circumstances, been not responsible for a thing that has happened. It could have been a psychotic break. It could have been, um, you know, uh, a, a, any number of things. You could have been, you know, could have had a gun to your head and had to, you know, do that or die. But when it comes to mm -hmm. what you do, you are responsible for those things. And even if, it, even if you were to point and say, oh, well, there's a completely mechanistic underpinning to mm -hmm. the way that your body works, who cares? We still need yeah, to create the society to be yeah. able to grow it the way that it is. And without doing so, we wouldn't have what we do, what we have. Well, so, I would agree with that. Yeah, a river you, doesn't decide like where it you, floods, but we still build dams. Well, yeah. Oh, kind of like shit. The, <laughs> damn, Jamie, that was a good one. Mm. I like, you, give me you said well, damn, Jamie, as a pun. I'm proud of you. That was a pun. That was punny. It was lots of fun. If you, uh, there was also like the, the, the idea that if, uh, if morality, mm -hmm. uh, morality only exists in the, uh, 
in in if you're living in a society, if you're living alone on a deserted island and there's no other people around, there is no moral immoral action that you can take. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because morality has everything to do with the way we treat each other. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Anyway, it make an thank argument. you very much. It's fun. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, th talk. This is actually one of those topics that I really, really enjoy and I really like digging into. And I, it's one of those things that if you were to come and say, Eric, let's talk about, mor about morality, I'm going to say, cool, let's go get a beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. want to talk about it. I'm actually, I'm actually making beer right now. Oh, ah. you send us some. Send me some. Yeah. I'd love to, uh, but I'd have to send it as a yeast sample because it's illegal to transport my beer across the border. We call it bootlegging. There were Canadians that made a lot of money off that. Mm -hmm. prohibition. Damn it. Yeah, I was about to say, um, <laughs> the only address he knows is the library, and I'd rather not have the send ACA receive... Send me alcohol receive... 1507 no, West no. Canada Lane. Oh, my God. Austin, I cannot be, oh, you became president and then decided to turn our community to into Eric. a bootlegging operation. Address it to Eric. <laughs> send me your booze. I like no. gin. Okay, the... Uh, get a P.O. box. Oh, my God. <laughs> a P.O. box uh, number to, uh, to come. Uh, so, um, Ken, this was actually a lot of fun, man. Feel free to call yeah. back if you, you want to discuss that any other email, uh, philosophical issues. Um, Facebook. Good, thank Instagram. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Take yeah. care, buddy.